everyone, welcome back to Rebecca's Coloring Arts and Crafts. So yes, we've got the little printy here. Um, I've also got here, um, well, I guess this is kind of my Christmas puzzle haul, mostly, except for the Graphica Fairyland, um, which is not part of the Christmas slash birthday haul of puzzles that I got for Christmas slash birthday. One of these puzzles I bought for myself, one is from the lady at, um, very puzzling who we've become friends with another is um christmas present from my other friend here in wodonga and another one's from my mum's cousin um so yeah we've got a few couple of puzzles to go through i've got more eventually to come via pre-orders and all the rest but yes i thought i would share briefly what i've gotten for christmas anyway christmas slash birthday and some of the um, the one that I got for myself is a pre-order that I got, but yeah, I was, it finally turned up. So I decided to treat it as a Christmas slash birthday gift or one of Christmas slash birthday gifts to myself anyway. So yeah, um, and I was actually counting through it and I think I'm going to end up with more than 360 at the end of the day because there are other pre-orders that I found the other day that I was looking through as well. So it's like... Holy dooly. Um, I don't know how many I've still got to come, but yeah, there's going to be over 360 because before I found these other pre-orders, there was 360 to come. So it's like, okay, yeah, <laughs> I've got a lot of puzzles to do in my lifetime along with everything else and I've got to get better to be able to do that. But anyway, I guess we should start. So I'm going to start here with the Graphica Puzzle 1500. This is one that, as you would have noticed via my live streams and that, I'm currently working on this one. Um, so I kind of, um, I forgot to haul this one a while ago, so I decided to just throw it in this haul. As you know, Graphica is probably my, like I still love Raven's Bedroom and I still love all the other brands, but right now Graphica is the top brand for me just for the quality and everything and how the pieces fit together and all the rest and I just really love my Graphica puzzles. So this one as you see is called Fairyland. I did have a friend, my American friend, um, Tracy, ask me if this was a Sierra Marchetti piece because it looks like his artwork. Um, I have no idea because it doesn't sound here who it's by. But yes, I really love this one anyway, and I thought I would share it with you. Um, so yeah, um, as you can see, it's obviously based in like a fancy fairyland or theme park style place, and I really love it, and I'm really enjoying the Graphica because like whilst most puzzles do have a slight fault, and like even the Graphica has that issue a little bit with like sometimes the pieces are a little bit damaged and you have to fix some up or stuff. But for me, just the way it holds together and everything, I just really love the Graphica. It doesn't mean that I don't love other puzzle brands. I'm still really enjoying all the other puzzle brands as well. It's just Graphica has kind of become my new favourite. But as you can see, I still love Raven's Edge. I still love Clementoni. There's the mind bogglers there. I still love all those brands. Anyway, it's just when I first started doing the Graphica, it's like, oh, wow, I love this. I love the feel of the pieces, and that's part to do with my Asperger's and Century stuff. And, uh, yeah, I basically just loved everything about the Graphica puzzles. And, yeah, I sort of they kind of nudged out Raven's Wedge, which was my top favourite till then, to become my top favourite, but it doesn't mean that, Raven's Bedroom and all the puzzle brands. It doesn't mean I don't still love those. I still really do love those. I just love Graphica the most. And yeah, pretty much I'm addicted to Graphica puzzles now if I can get them, which it's kind of hard in Australia, but I'm noticing they're becoming more and more regularly available in Australia with places selling them because of the quality. But I also know that these places aren't available in America currently. Um, I'm still waiting on very puzzling's order of the graphica puzzles which i got a heap of graphica puzzles coming there that i'll be hauling but i'm waiting on those to arrive yet because of the fact that COVID and that has delayed all of that arriving but eventually very puzzling will have graphica puzzles and um as for i thought i should update you all on this too 
with the free shipping worldwide, that is over a certain amount, but also at the moment, um, and I'm just letting you know to, about this, if you are going to order it, try and keep it under nine kilos, I think it is, because anything over nine kilos currently with COVID restrictions, if you're not in an area that is currently blocked from sending post to by Australia Post, because there are a lot of countries that Australia Post isn't sending to at the moment, um, that basically keep it under nine kilos if you do water puzzles for the free shipping from Very Puzzling, just because of the fact Australia Post currently isn't taking anything over nine kilos at least. So I was able to send a puzzle, but that was because it was about seven to eight kilos. So try and keep your order under the nine kilo mark, I think it is, just to... Well, definitely probably try to keep it under the eight kilo mark. If you do order puzzles from them, just so that then you can get your order because there's a couple of people that we're still chasing down PayPal about because for some reason, some error kind of thing happened with PayPal where the refunds didn't go through and we're still chasing that down. And for those of you who um, I'm chasing these down for, I am going to check up on about it um, soon, but... Um, it'll probably be Wednesday or something when I check up on it because we've currently got public holidays here till at least Wednesday this week. So, yeah, just thought I'd share that one. So I just thought I'd let you know those details so you knew for if you did order anything. So the next one I got here is this 1,000-piece Mind Bogglers puzzle of New Schwanstone Castle. And this is a different view to what I normally see. But, yeah, I think this one's going to be very challenging with just the red trees, a lot of sky and all of that. But I'm sure I will still enjoy it. And this one was the gift from my mum's cousin, Nada. And, yeah, so 69 by 54 centimetres, roughly. And, yeah, Mind Boggler's just is, I think they're an Australian brand company but I think they do sell to America and other times the next ones I've also got here are the Raven's Virgil Puzzle Museum of Wonder by Amy Stewart and yes this still has a price tag on it this was one of my birthday and Christmas gifts so this is um the Museum of Wonder by Amy Stewart but as you can tell you've got all the dinosaur skeleton area Steps up, rare Egyptian area. I'm not quite sure. I'm guessing this one's Rome slash Viking, but I'm not totally sure. Um, Tibetan, I'm guessing. Like Samurai, Japanese and Buddha slash Thai. Taiwanese, I guess. Um, our art style, their art paintings. And then I'm guessing this is meant to be like England and English area i'm guessing but yeah we got this gorgeous museum of wonder puzzle and sorry if i'm shaking i'm just really tired and exhausted and all of that um and the second one i got here from my friend for birthday and christmas was number three curious cupboards by colin thompson so this is the garden as cupboard i think it is but it's got all these cute little garden scenes like um giant bonsai and peas and waterfalls and all of those kinds of things which I really love and I really like this one when I saw it so obviously I had to get it and I haven't opened the plastic of these but I'm assuming since these are the coloured boxes the coloured boxes seem to be the ones that come with the bonus puzzle when they release it to just the white box then it doesn't seem to come with the bonus puzzle from what I've noticed and then the last two I've got here, and I'm just going to shift prints here temporarily to do this. There we go. I've got this 6,000 piece Clementoni, and this is another version of the Las Vegas puzzle, the last one that I hold. Which I really love the colours, and that's in this one, and the Night Style Cities. I really do love those. And it's gorgeous, and it said 6,000 pieces. Clementoni does come with only one bag in every six in the six thousand pieces. I have opened these, but it's a bit difficult on camera to take it off one-handed. But there is only one bag of six thousand pieces 
And for me, it's only just going to fit on my puzzle table by about one to two centimeters, pretty much. I'm pretty certain it is 168 by 118.4 centimeters. So yeah, about two centimeters. I'll have a little bit of extra on the sides, but come the edges, I'm only going to have a bit less than two centimeters available size wise to fit it on my table. So I'm going to be cutting it fine there. But yes, I really love it. And then the final one that I've got here is the Disney Gala Clementoni 6,000 piece puzzle. This one is a birthday slash Christmas gift from the lady at Very Puzzling who I've made friends with um, since we've been talking and that sort of thing. And she decided to send me this as a birthday and Christmas gift because this was one that I was on my wish list that I was really wanting, but I haven't been, well, I've got it in the 1,000 piece, but not the 6,000 piece. And I really wanted a 6,000 piece version of this one. But yeah, very happy to have this Disney Gala one. I really appreciate it. And she sent a really lovely message with it as well, just written on the packing slip form. But yeah, I really, really am so excited and happy to have this Disney Gala. Um, Clementoni and the 6,000 pieces. So yeah, it's just awesome and I really love it I don't know all the characters yet but looking at it I'm not sure if there's some repeats like it looks like Donald and Daisy is in there a couple of times and there might be Scrooge McDuck in one I'm not sure yeah there's Scrooge McDuck a couple of Scrooge McDucks a couple of Donald's Louie Dewey Huey Pluto Alvin and the Chipmunks Mickey and Minnie's kids Mickey and Minnie obviously there's a Goofy I think I'm not sure if Goofy's got a cousin or something, but yeah, there seems to be a few repeats, but I guess I'll find that out when I can watch things on the Disney Channel, Disney Plus again more, just because, well, I'm switching between Netflix and Disney Plus. Sometimes I'll spend more time on Netflix, sometimes I'll spend more time on Disney Plus. But yeah, I'm so excited for this one and for all the others that I've received. If you've enjoyed this, please leave a like, subscribe, comment. I always love hearing from you and I will see you later. Bye.